Hello and welcome to another step-by-step -step how to tie tutorial video. This is the Apple Green. This is part of a greater video series I am doing, Flies A to Z. Working out of a book that's listed alphabetically. Here is the pattern and the photograph that I'm working off of. So, this is tied on a size 12. This is on a Herder's dry fly hook, number 3029T. Once again, this is a size 12. I am using an olive eight dot waxed thread. The body material is silk floss. I am using kind of a cream colored hackle and the tail are white thibets. I'm also using the tying thread as a ribbing. So let's go ahead and remove our sample and we'll secure our hook in the vise. And like all good flies this will begin with a single wrap of thread. And I'm going to leave the tag end long on this one because I'm going to secure the body with an additional few wraps of thread. So to tie in my uh, fibbit tail, I have three single strands, three fibers, and I'm gonna measure those out about a hook's length. Standard tail length. We'll get that secured right there on the top. And we'll run this the length of the body just so we can maintain a uniform uniform size of the body. Trim off the remainder of those fibbits. And for the body, I am using two of the four strands of my floss there. Secure that from the front to the rear. Nice and tight, nice and even. And we'll return the thread to the front of the body. Trim off our excess. And we'll take the silk floss and carefully take Touching wraps, working from the rear to the front, carefully guiding around the tip of that hook. As we all know, that is a known culprit for breaking material. And the silk floss is not the exception to the rule. So always be mindful when working around the tip of that hook. Nice, close, tight, Slightly overlapping wraps give a nice even body. A few securing wraps. And we can trim off our excess and plenty enough on there for another couple of flies. Alright, real simple. We'll do some counter wraps with our tying thread that we left that tag end at the rear end. And this just will just add a little bit of added security on that fragile silk floss keep it from completely fraying off on the first couple of hits but if you land the 20 inch around this one it's all good all right we'll prepare to do our heckle and i'll grab it by the tip and pull the fibers down Trim off my stem to length and give it that little high and tight. Tie in my hackle up front here. Give ourselves plenty of room to work with. And when I grab this with my hackle pliers, I have the rubber side and I have the flat side. I'm going to do my best to keep the flat side forward so it does not 
catch on to the thread. We'll do a nice touching wraps up front. Getting the hackle to lay in the same direction can be difficult at times. And if it absolutely does not want to cooperate, you just have to roll with it. Have an ugly fly, throw it in your box, fish it, catch fish. We won't judge you, and the fish won't judge you. Well, somebody might, but it won't be the fish. And it won't be me. Alright, a couple tight wraps, securing the tip of that feather down. Once that hackle is secured, we can trim off the tip of that feather. A couple more wraps, and we'll give it the old one, two, three. One, two, three turns on the whip finish. Secure that down. Trim off our tying thread and we'll clean up the hackle on the front. Kind of pull it forward, kind of push it back. And the thibets in the rear will come in with our bodkin and we'll isolate the left, the far side of the body, and we'll isolate the right hand side one, or the near side of the body. Just give it a little, a little coaxing off to the side doesn't take much and we'll leave the one in the center alone all right I think that'll work so there we go A to Z that is apple green from my Norwegian book which is the fly pattern encyclopedia is how it translates to so all right thank you for joining me happy tying and with the apple green Tight lines.